Hey guys, today I'm gonna do something really different, not lush. We're gonna talk about subscription boxes. I've got the Boutte bag as well as an Influencer Vox box. I didn't want to start off like complaining about a bunch of stuff, so we're gonna start with the booty bag, booté bag, because I have no complaints about that one. I should probably preface this with, I'm not being paid to do these reviews. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored, but I'm not cool enough to be sponsored. And if I was being paid to do this, you think I'd do videos every single day, not like once a week. I don't get anything out of this. First up, we're doing a booté bag. This is a little bit different of a subscription box, clearly because it's not a box, but also because it's underwear. Let me just tell you a little bit about Boutte Bag first. This is a $12 a month subscription to get two panties. They are free delivery, so that's just $12 a month, $6 per pair. Their sizes range from extra small to extra large. You can choose from either Mix It Up, which is a combo of cheeky panties and thongs. This is for the girl who likes any kind of panty but isn't afraid to branch out. But do not worry, they will never send you granny panties. You can also choose Never Thongs, which would always only be cheeky panties, or always thongs, which is only thongs. You can add a bralette for $13, like a one-time charge, and they'll send you a bralette. I didn't get the bralette, but I did choose the mix it up style. I already opened it because I don't have like the constraint not to. It was too cute of a bag. Now, it does come in a bag inside of another bag, but it's still super cute. Open it up, and you get your two rolled panties inside. I like this subscription a lot because I am like a panty hoarder. I have tons and tons and tons of panties, but really I only buy them when Victoria's Secret's on sale and Black Fridays. So I like to hoard my panties and I have way too many. This subscription kind of forces you to get new ones every month and then you can get rid of your old ones. So you're constantly trying new styles and I think it's a really good idea. So first off, these are the cheekies. Cheeky. This is a really, 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 really soft material. Like super soft. This is like Victoria's Secret style type of soft. Like when you get their soft panties, you know it's soft. And all I wanna do is just touch it all day long. And then the rest is lace. Now this is, I don't even remember what size I got. Smalls, full smalls. These seem to be a little tight on me. I wear a size three in like jeans, but I, I range from the zero to three. So I always choose small no matter what it is. And the hips seem a little tight. They don't stretch very well, but they're so comfortable. Like even with the lace, it's not, it's like a kind of a, like the lace is stretchy, but like the sides just aren't, I mean, they stretch out this way, but not so much this way. I'm not really a fan of lace just because sometimes it's not that comfortable and then it can tear easily and those things just, they shred and fall apart and then I just have to throw them away anyways. But this, they actually seem like really good quality. I wouldn't say 100% Victoria's Secret quality, but definitely better than like wet seal. And my second pair is the thong. This actually fit me better than the cheekies. Same size. This is like a mesh material, but the actual lining of it is like really like strong and they stretch pretty well. They aren't like the flimsy kind of thong either and they're really cute. I love black. I, I love that it actually like they're neutral colors. I'm not getting some flamboyant crazy colors. These are sturdier, but they were a little uncomfortable in the crack area. I don't know if it's because of how thick the actual lining is, but I have to get mix and match. I have to get thongs because I wear lots of leggings and you can't wear just regular underwear with leggings. You'll have lines. Boutte bag. They really encourage you to take selfies. I don't know if it's selfies of you wearing your underwear, but they really encourage you to take selfies of your underwear that you get. And when you post these selfies, you want to hashtag under matters and they will donate a dollar to the Melanoma Foundation. So not only are you getting underwear every single month, but you're also helping a good cause. 
Next up is my Influencer box. Yeah, I joined Influencer. I just saw that you can do lots of reviews and your impact score, you'll get like more points towards getting a box. And if you're awesome, you'll get a box. And if you just review a lot, which I do like to review a lot, it was like the perfect match for me to just join Influencer. And I got a box right away. But I'm having a hard time with this box. I actually told a friend that I was going to do an entire video on Influencer about this box and show you guys. However, I didn't like what I got inside and I feel like the hashtags that you're forced to use with Influencer kind of dictate how you are already supposed to feel about it. For example, let's just open this up. I don't know if you can see my pile of things in here. This was the Darling Box box. It's for like moms. This to me is a little stereotypical, but you know, hey, I mean, it's, it wasn't too bad. So I got energy gummies. Okay, yeah, sure, you got kids, you don't have any energy, but you could also have lots of pets and not have energy. You could have a really tiring job and not have any energy. So these, I don't know, this is a placebo to me, energy gummies, I just, I don't know. Mm -mm -mm. You get baby shampoo and baby lotion. My kid's four. This smells like baby shampoo, like Johnson & Johnson baby shampoo, like it reeks of baby shampoo. And it, while it was cute when she was a baby, I don't want her smelling like a baby anymore. I'm, you know, I just, I'm over it. Beachy texture spray because you want really textured beachy hair, but I have really, really thick, coarse hair and I don't want it to poof and be textured more than it already is. Plus this stuff makes my hair feel like straw. So that was, I'm done with that. I also got a tub of butter, but I like to use vegetable oil with yogurt. So the butter was out and plus it tastes for artificial anyways. The reason why I'm having such a big, huge, like, cow over this is because of these perfect size for ones from Duncan Hines. This, I buy, I buy this actually. I buy this all the time because I'm lazy and I want my chocolate fix and when I eat a candy bar I really feel horrible afterwards. So these are cheap, they're easy, they're easy. You just like dump it in a cup, throw it in the microwave and you're done. However, it's not that I like them. They're like when you get the cup out, it's like piping hot. It's gummy, it's very bland. They're all bland no matter what flavor you get. My problem with this Vox box is that when you post your pictures of your Duncan Hines, you have to use the hashtag, how perfect is that? No, no, it's not perfect. It's not perfect at all. And I don't like that I have to use that hashtag. Just hashtag Duncan Hines or perfect size for one. That, that doesn't already dictate how I'm supposed to feel about it. But when you say, how perfect is that? I don't like it. Mm -mm. I do enjoy being on Influencer though. I love reviewing all this stuff. I like collecting badges even though it doesn't really do anything like for me in real life. I like collecting things online and getting badges. That's awesome. My impact score for reviewing things and having so many friends on Facebook. Like it's, it's fun. I do enjoy it. And then you do get a Vox box. I could have honestly said no to this Vox box, but I said yes because I was willing to try the gummies and I was willing to try the texture spray. And then I heard there was like a chocolate dessert. So why, well, of course not, I'm gonna choose that. I shouldn't be bitter, I really shouldn't. I should not complain, I got a Vox box. I didn't want to come on here and be like, oh my God, influencer, best thing ever. Every single item in my box is the best thing ever because I'm not gonna do that. I, I wanna be honest with you. So I did complete the campaign. I just didn't say that I did a vlog about it or anything because obviously this is after the fact and I'm being honest with you. Bootay bag, yes. Influencer, box box, the darling box box, meh. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll use all the stuff, but let's just hope for a better one next time. But if you do decide to join Influencer, rack up those points pretty awesome. You might get a totally amazing influencer box. You want the Vox boxes, you really do. I guess I'm telling you about the influencer Vox box to give you guys like an open, open mind here. Just kind of see through all of the fake reviews and crap reviews. Just because they're getting something for free doesn't mean that they need to be super, oh my god, this is the best thing ever. Just because they're getting it for free. You don't, don't need to believe all the hype on everything. So now that I'm done putting you guys in a terrible mood, and you can clearly see I have taken down my entire bed frame. It's really sad and depressing. All of my decor, everything is just all over the place. My house is a complete disaster. 
I cannot wait to get into this new house. I've already started designing the lush room. I've got the paint colors picked out. I have like the like architecture and like things, how I'm going to rearrange everything. It's going to be perfect. I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Next week, I will be back doing all my Lush stuff as usual. We are, we are done doing weird stuff, I think. Lush, for sure. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Now, I don't care for them because they're energy gummies, but these things are freaking delicious. Like, ugh. watermelon? Uh-huh. Yeah. You're only supposed to take two, but you think I'm really going to take just two of these? They're so good. Placebo or not, those are good.